with boots on the ground and eyes in the sky. U.S. soldiers from Combined Task Force Dragoon along with soldiers from the Afghan National Army and the Afghan local police come together. The mission is to inspect and clear an area in Kandahar province suspected of having possible IEDs, improvised explosive devices. As the convoy moves to the objective, an air support team follows with a bird's eye view of the battlefield and stays in constant communication with Sergeant Brian Thomas, a fire support specialist. And roger that bandit. During the mission, my job was to coordinate with the aircraft to uh, pass information from myself to them and then back to me. Basically of what they could see on the ground ahead of uh, my convoy, behind ridge lines, mountaintops, dead space. We can't see if we're in the low ground and uh, any uh, imminent danger or threats, um, they could pass to me and I can pass to my platoon leader. IEDs are one of the biggest threats here in Afghanistan and they can be placed in the ground in a matter of minutes. So any type of suspicious activity seen from the sky is quickly communicated. The aircraft OH-58 Kiowas uh, got eyes on um, a couple of people digging on the road that we were, uh, we were on and uh, they gave us the heads up by passing us a grid of the location and actually getting a closer look um, and was able to find out that they were just digging uh, normal field work for farming. Overall with the air support um, it's a big advantage for us to uh, have air superiority which we know uh, if any threat comes we're able to either engage it or be able to visually see it with the aircraft from the sky. I'm Army Staff Sergeant Jose Ibarra, Kandahar Province, Afghanistan.